Welcome back guys to LS Plays FM and to a brand new tactic video here on the channel. Now this tactic is a little bit similar to what I previously did here on the channel, my 41212 narrow diamond. However, I have made some tweaks to the tactic and it is now arguably far better than it ever was and possibly one of the best tactics I've used on FM to date. I have one side that's gone unbeaten for 60 games currently, another side winning a treble, and in the Norwich Twitch save, we are currently on course to be maybe winning the Premier League trophy when we're only predicted to finish in the top six. Now let's get into today's video and I'm for exactly how the tactic works and we'll see just how well it's done with each of the sides the tactic's been used with. then guys in FM 21 and this here is the narrow diamond the unbreakable diamond as I'm going to be calling it the reason why is I am finding whichever team it ends up being used with is very very hard to defeat and to break down so it's going to be called the unbreakable diamond now before we do get going properly with this tactic video guys if you do enjoy the video here today please do go and chuck a like down onto it as I always say any like on any of the videos always massively does help the channel out and of course, if you're looking forward to seeing any more of my content, such as any FM21 Tactics videos, maybe my Red Devil Revival series, the Road to Glory series of Kaiserslautern, or any more FM21 content, then do make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to be notified when any of my content here on YouTube goes live. Now, this is with Atalanta. This is in my personal Glory Hunter save that I have on the go, which I'm doing in my own free time. And using this, I have firstly won Syria unbeaten. I've gone, I think, 62 games unbeaten currently in Syria. I reached the Champions League final as well and lost only to Manchester City in extra time. And on top of that, it scored an unbelievable amount of goals. I'll run through exactly how it gets on very shortly in terms of the league and everything like that and all the stats and everything like that with Atalanta. But this is the tactic. As I say, it works quite similarly to what I previously did, my original 4 one 2 2 narrow diamond. There should be a link above me if you actually want to go and have a look at that original tactic. But this one has a slightly few different roles in the midfield and also in attack. And generally speaking, works really, really well, both defensively and scoring goals. The original tactic struggled a bit defensively. This one just seems to work brilliantly for both. Before I do run through the tactic, guys, of course, you can either copy what I have here into your own FM. Of course, you're playing like on Xbox or mobile, maybe, and you're able to download the tactic. But if you do want to download a copy of it, there'll be links down in the description to a Steam Workshop link, uh, to the FM Scout page, and also FM Base, where you can get it all also just to a direct Dropbox download. If you do decide to go and use any of the links, such as with the Steam Workshop one, please do feel free to drop any positive feedback onto Tactic if you find it does work for you. Now to note if I start running through the roles and then we'll get into exactly how this tactic works. It first of all has a sweeper keeper on support and two wing backs both on support. It then has a ball playing defender on the left hand side or it can be on the right hand side and an essential defender on cover. That can also be a ball playing defender on cover. Either way works and these two roles can swap around but I like to have one on cover just because it then helps to look out and not get too many balls over the top. We then have the three central midfielders out of our four. We have a DLP on defend, and this, I feel, was originally, I believe, a halfback in the original tactic. The DLP on defend just works brilliantly. They get really get well involved in attacks, and they defend really well too. It's really, really useful. There's then a ball midfielder on support, and Mazala on attack. So the ball midfielder, of course, helps cover in the midfield, but also pushes on a little bit, and the Mazala attack, obviously, is a big outlay going forward. We then have an attacking midfielder on attack, one of the main people in terms of getting assists for your sides. And then an advance forward, which is the key goal scoring error, and then a complete forward, or also sometimes a pressing forward, depending on who I have playing in that role. But the advance forward is by far the main outlay for your goal scoring in this team. I then play with an attacking mentality. We then, in possession, we have a standard attacking width. We focus play through the middle because, of course, we do. We're using four central midfielders basically. Play out of defence, pass into space to utilise the getting the ball into the space for the advance forward to run into. We have slightly more direct passing much higher tempo, we like to be more expressive. Everything else is just set to default. In terms of in transition, we counter press, counter, distribute quickly. Very much a counter attacking style of play is this tactic. We then have to distribute to either the fullbacks or centre backs, which is how I like my goalkeepers distribute, and to have him doing short kicks in this team. In terms of when we're out of possession and we're defending, we have a higher line of engagement, a standard defensive line. We force the opponents outside. 
we have a more urgent pressing intensity and we prevent the short goalkeeper distribution. Occasionally I do have the get stuck in turn on as well at the moment, I do not, but it can be helpful occasionally to have that switched on. That is how the tactic works. We have one set piece set up, we have just the standard defensive ones, but when we go and attack, we have one which goes to the far post like so, which focuses on one of the defenders attacking it, and we have a near post variant where, again, focus on the defender attacking the near post. But that is all we have for set pieces. In terms of player instructions, they are all just set to the default player instructions that each role has. I have not added anything on myself to the roles and in terms of the opposition instructions I leave them either blank or I just tweak them here and there for the odd opponent. I don't have anything specific set up for this tactic. You can always let your assistant do it but I generally tend not to do that. But that is how the tactic itself works and how it's all set up. In terms of how it's performed with Atalanta they've done quite well. This season you can see here we played 38 games, we won 31 and we drew seven and had zero losses. A goal difference of 90 and 100 points on the board. We were absolutely phenomenal. We really, really were. And in terms of the overall stats and everything like that, we scored 111 goals over the course of 38 games. We conceded only 21. We have now got the record in terms of the most games unbeaten. You can see here most matches without losing is 62 for Atalanta. That is our current run at the moment. Sadly, we just missed out on the most points ever in a season but we've gone undefeated using this tactic. It works so well. And also on top of that, Musa Barrow, who was the advanced hall in this tactic, scored 41 goals in, I believe, 36 appearances. Oh, 35, you can see there. 41 goals in 35 with nine assists. He also got an average rating of 7.69. In all competitions, he's played 49 games, scored 48 and got 11 assists. He did very well in this tactic. Kurt Zuma got a great rating. Gosen, the left back, got a great rating as well. It worked phenomenally. We had the second highest amounts of clean sheets in the league as well. And as I said as well, we also reached the Champions League final and lost sadly in that. But we also won the Super Cup. We didn't manage to win the Coppa Italia. But it was a really, really good tactic and absolutely worked phenomenally well with Atalanta here. I'm also using it currently in my Twitch stream, which we'll get to very shortly so I can show you how it's getting on with Norwich. And I've also done a simulation save with Liverpool where it's gone very, very well for them. We'll come to them last of all. In terms of the team report though and then the analysis and everything like that, it worked very, very well. If we look at the analysis report here, you can see just how good the team was in comparison to the rest of the league. By far more goals per game than any other side. Same with XG, same with conceded per game was really good. XG against per game was really good. Shots per game was fantastic as well. When it comes to scoring, if we look on here, you can see how far and above Atalanta were compared to the rest of the teams in Serie A. It's worth noting that my Atalanta side, I think, were predicted to become third or second. They were not expected to win it but you can just see how far and above everyone in the division they are in terms of scoring. The most aggressive and clinical side of all, almost 16 or about 16% conversion rate, having an average 19 shots per game. Then defensively, oh, it's even better. The defensive side of this tactic, I think, is actually even better than the offensive side. They only have an 8.5% conversion rate to the opponents up against us, and they only on average have roughly six to seven shots per game against us, which is phenomenally good. It really, really is. But that's how the tactic works and how it's performed for Atlanta. Let's get into Norwich and I'll show you exactly how it's done in the Twitch stream save over with Norwich City. Here we are then now with my Norwich City team, which I'm using over on Twitch for our Twitch stream save. And we are currently six seasons in. This is the team, of course, using the same unbeaten narrow diamond tactic, the unbreakable diamond. And this is the team on which we're using, of course, the same setup, the same roles, everything, the exception being that, as I mentioned with the attackers, I, instead of using the complete forward, I use a pressing forward, I alternate between the two roles depending on whoever I play in that position. But this is the tactic, and using it currently in the Premier League, we are sitting top of the division, two clear of Man U, 11 clear Liverpool, and then 12 clear of Man City. We have absolutely smashed our way through the Europa League, and we played six games and got a goal difference of 27 in that. We're in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup, and we got knocked out in the quarterfinals of the League Cup. Everything is going phenomenally well. It really, really is. In the Prem, we've only lost one all season. I think we won an unbeaten streak of 24 games in the Premier League. And in terms of the goal scores, we are the second highest in the league. And in defensively, we are by far and away the best defensive side in the entire division. Only 12 goals conceded in 25 games 
as of yet. It is a phenomenal season with the side. In terms of the prediction, we were predicted to come fifth. We were joint fifth or sixth, basically, when you look at the odds and so on, compared to Arsenal, who are currently predicted to come sixth in this league. So the fact we're up there in the top spot after 25 are played and looking like it could well go down to the wire between ourselves and Manchester United, you can see just how well this tactic has done for the Norwich City team. If you are interested in coming on and having a look actually at the Norwich City team over on Twitch, there'll be a link down to my Twitch channel in the pinned comment and in the description. Of course, come over, drop a follow on the channel and then come along whenever we do go live. Normally we stream on Tuesdays, Thursdays and on Saturdays. But that's how well it's done with Norwich currently. It's looking like we're going to be winning our first major silverware with us now using this new tactic the first year in which we've been properly using the Unbreakable Diamond. But that's how Norwich got on. Of course, we've already seen how well Atlanta have done. Let's now get into our final save with Liverpool. And we'll see just how well Liverpool does once we simulate through that save as well. Here we are then now for the final of the three teams we're going to look at with this tactic. Here now with Liverpool. And this is the Unbreakable Diamond being used with the Liverpool squad. And this is how the game reckons they will be lining up. It'll be Alisson in there. Alexander Arnold and Robertson, of course, at wing back. Van Dijk and Gomez as the back two. Fabinho, Henderson and Wijnaldum in the central three midfielder roles there. Bobby Firmino is the attacking midfielder, and then Salah and Mane starting up front. So what we'll do is we'll simulate it through, we'll get to the end of the season and see quite how this Liverpool side gets on using this tactic. Here we are then at the end of the simulation. It is the 1st of June 2021, and straight away I can already see that the tactic has done very, very well for Liverpool as they have come away as Premier League champions. Really good stuff from there, 93 points from 38 play. The goal difference is 73 in the Premier League. And I can really see just how well Mohamed Salah has done being Liverpool's top scorer, average rating player, and most assists, as well as the most player of the match awards. That is some crazy statistics there from him. 63 goals in all competitions, as well as 23 assists and 23 man of the match awards. That is absolutely nuts. Let's get into the competition to see what else they won. So of course, won the Premier League, really well done to them. Apparently they won a friendly cup, fantastic stuff. They actually won the Champions League. They beat Real Madrid in the final, 3-2 in that game. Very well done to them. They then not knocked out in the semi-final of the FA Cup to Wolves but they then won the Cowboy Cup and the Community Shield. So I guess you could maybe say they won four competitions. Realistically, they won three because everyone knows the Community Shield is a glorified friendly, but very, very good stuff from them. In terms of the Prem, how many goals did Salah get? He got 34 goals with Mo Salah, average rate of 7.59, and Bobby Firmino with the most assists of 11, and Alisson with the most clean sheets in the league of 18 clean sheets. Salah, what a crazy set of stats that he had overall. So his history, 35 played, 34 goals, 10 assists in the Prem, 63 in all competitions, and he played 58 games. Crazy, crazy stuff there. Average rate overall, 7.71. You probably can't see it behind my webcam, but that is the rating which he got. In terms of the squad, who got like the most goals and thing as well? So you had Salah, of course, up there. Then Mane with 25. Milner got 12 goals. Bobby Firmino got 10 with 14 assists. Matip up there with 9. So that would suggest they're getting goals from set pieces, which is good to see. Yota with 9 as well. And then a few other goals spread around. But unbelievable stuff there from Mo Salah. I don't think I've ever seen a player using one of my tactics do that well, scoring 63 goals. That would be interesting. Did he win the Ballon d'Or? I will presume he'd probably end up winning that as he's done so well. If we go to award winners, let's go for the Ballon d'Or. Okay, he didn't win that because, of course, it's not given the first year. Well played the year. He won the well played the year. Unsurprising, all things considered. You see there, average rate of 7.95. Completely and utterly nutty stuff there from Mo Salah. But you can just see from these three teams, Norwich, Atlanta and Liverpool, this tactic just works really well. Tons of goals scored, really good defensive ratings as well, and teams just winning competitions for fun. But overall, guys, that just about wraps up this video here today. And I think we can safely say, if you want to use this tactic, you're probably going to end up doing quite well while using it. Every team has just done so well. They really, really have. And I am hoping so badly with the Norwich save over on Twitch that we can keep doing as well as we have done using this tactic and build on it and win the Prem. I've been wanting to win something in that save for so long and it finally is looking possible that we may well be on course to winning a Premier League, an FA Cup, maybe a Europa League, maybe all three. Of course, if you do want to come along with the old Twitch save, use the links down in the pinned comment and in the description. And if you want to download the tactic, guys, use the links in the description as well. For example, for the Steam Workshop link or Dropbox or any of the other various sites. But guys, I really hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video and you found the tactic to be helpful, please do chuck a like down onto the video. As I always say, every like on any of the videos here on the channel massively helps the channel itself out. And if you're looking forward to seeing any more of my content here on YouTube, 
then do make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to be notified when any of my content here on YouTube goes live. But guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again next time.